So, these are the super advanced robots that you call the Autobots, right? Indeed. Optimus Prime, at your service. Well, it's an honor to meet you, sir. Now just, how did you guys end up here in the first place? Honestly, it's kind of a long story, but why not let Prime explain the whole premise anyway? Much obliged, old friend. <clears throat> For centuries, we have hidden the AllSpark away from Cybertron to keep it safe. Then by fortune or fate, it landed on Earth, and the deadly war between the Autobots and Decepticons came along with it. And while the AllSpark was ultimately destroyed, one shard yet remains. Now we must fight alongside the humans, to keep it from falling into the hands of the evil Decepticons. And as proud Autobots, we cannot allow the Cons to destroy another planet. You see, case in point, Megatron's plan here is that he wants to contact any source of energy, depending on which planet it comes from, and then just snatch it away from said planet thus causing his plan to claim the entire galaxy as his very own. I see. If the Decepticons find the Allspark Shard, they'll transform Earth's machines and build a new army, and the human race will be extinguished. Sarah Winwicky, you must hold the key to Earth's survival. <laughs> That sounds like Teletran 1. I better witness what's happening. Hey, don't keep us in suspense. What could be the issue? It appears that we have contacted the sources of Energon hidden somewhere in Egypt. Now, Prime, this may come off as all too questionable, but I wonder what an entire stash of Energon is doing over there. I have no idea. But I suspect that the Decepticons have begun the search for those Energon cubes. They must have known that they were here as well. Well, guys, you know what they say. The morbid, the merrier. What? I can't be the only one transmitting a chuckle here. I mean, every Earth human and Autobot has got to get with the humor every once in a while. That'll be all, please. Ratchet, Ironhide, Jazz, I want you to head over to said country and protect the Energon cubes, but watch out for the Decepticons. Sir, yes sir. Will do, Prime. Aye aye, Captain! Aw, oh, come on, man! Oh well. Hey, Sarah, would you like to join us on a road trip to victory? Why, of course, Jazz. I could sure use some social accompaniment. Good luck, you three, and be careful. No need to worry, we will. Are you sure you know where we're going, Jazz? Certainly, Sarah. Prime and the U.S. Nest Facility are counting on us. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that we try to contact any source of energy. Or the second, or the third. You got that right. Once I get my hands on those Decepticons, they'll be sorry. Well, what do you know? We're here! Wow, what a break! We're sure to catch those Decepticons now! Energon cubes still functional? Yes, but given how this stash of Energon is much more powerful than we ever give credit for, I highly doubt that somebody else will have to try and claim it all for themselves, rather than us. Yeah? Well, guess again, punk. Put the Energon cubes down, you Decepta creeps. That's right. You might want to put down the Energon cubes, or it looks like Ironhide is going to have to get a little violent, to say it the least. They want the Energon stash! What are we going to 
do Blitzwing? I have no idea, Lugnut. But whatever this is... They will never bring back this Energon stash! Now prepare to turn yourselves into scrap metal! Well now, I suppose that'll take care of everything. I do not think so. Cowards! Looks like you've crossed the line this time! Now prepare to be eliminated! <laughs> Sorry, Blitzwing, but your days as a Decepticon has been revoked. Um, Ironhide, I don't think that lethal weapon line actually works here. Is that so? Well then, it looks like the three of us will bring back what you're having, Blitzwing. That's... better? Ah, just wait till Prime hears about this. Holy mother of spark plugs. In all my years at the Autobot Academy, I've never seen this much Energon in my life. Well, Prime, it sure looks like you know how to handle an incredible team of heroic robots of Planet Cybertron. Ah, uh, you know, we were doing our best to be called Proud Autobots. Heck, at one point, I'd be able to say, Hey, reach for the sky, Decepticreep!